Whatever time you are watching this webisode, I hope it is good. My name is Jeff Schubert, and my discovery of East Brunswick continues at Toscana Salon. Now, generally, if I find myself at a salon, it's because I'm lost and looking for directions or I'm keeping a friend company. But since they do offer services other than uh, hair, I figured uh, I'd take advantage of one since I was going to be there anyway. Guess which one I did. So Tracy, I got a confession to make. I don't spend a lot of time in salons. So you're gonna, you're hopefully you're gonna educate me and we I thank you, for, you. thank you for having me in. So first uh, question off the top, what would be the uh, current uh, hair trends going on right now? And is it any different in East Brunswick versus let's say another part of the country? Um, I don't think it's any different than any other part of the country. I think the trends kind of go with what the stars in Hollywood do. I think right now um, in color, hair color, um, ombre and balayage is very popular. What services do you provide here in addition to that? Every service that a salon could. We do manicures, pedicures, waxing, perm, permanent waves, um, hair color, keratin treatments, keratin straightenings, which is very popular, hair extensions. And the carrot, how do you pronounce that? Keratin. Keratin treatment. You were telling, you were explaining to me before we came on how important it is that you straighten hair with that particular way of doing it, right? Because it's healthy. Back in the day, the only way to straighten your hair was with harsh chemicals, causing a lot of damage to the hair. The keratin products that we use today, especially the ones that I use here, do not contain formaldehyde, Others, some, some others do, and leaves the hair in mint condition. The other important thing is to have proper ventilation when you're doing those because the fumes can affect other clients, and thankfully here we have a huge vent in the ceiling. Do you have a lot of male customers or predominantly? Absolutely, no, we have a lot of male clients. This is a very well-rounded, comfortable family salon. We do a lot of children, so it's a pretty diverse yeah. clientele. Right? So I think this is one of those um, uh, billiage things Tracy was selling me <laughs> yes, about? Yes, uh, balayage. Balayage, there we go. <laughs> Close. So what we do with the balayage process, it's a currently trending form of highlighting. Instead of such a harsh um, line that the foiling can leave at the root, you kind of leave a shadow root and then blend down seamlessly and it creates a very soft highlighting effect and almost very natural, kind of like a sun-kissed look. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Linda. What's I, going on? <laughs> I figured I'd come out and check out your Manny Penny work. Oh, this is my SNS work. SNS work. Oh, yeah. Tracy briefly mentioned that to me. Yeah. She wanted me to ask you about it. What is SNS work? SNS is Signature Nail System. It's a gel base and a dipping powder. And in the dipping powder, there's um, five vitamins and calcium, which help the nails grow. Then I do all phases of nails. I do waxing, eyebrow arching, tinting full body waxing and all kinds of pedicures, every art design. I could copy just about anything. Oh, wow. And I and I put my creativity into it, flair, <laughs> make it different. So everyone knows you You have a unique style. Michelle's the woman, yeah. They bring the, the phone and they say, can you copy this? <laughs> yes, I'll do it as close as I can. Toscana is owned and operated by Tracy Stozler. And when I asked her what the best part about her job was, she talked about the relationship she has with her staff and her clients. And that seemed to be a common theme from the people I spoke to. Are you a regular of Toscana? Yes, I am. Oh, and is this your regular? Yes, she is. How... I've been coming here a long time, and it's a favorite day of my week. Is it really? How come? Because of her. That's wonderful. Well, my customers have always been my friends. They know my life. <laughs> and, you know, and you know theirs, right? And I know theirs, yep. yes. It's... You have a very special rapport with your customers if you love the business. And being a shop owner and now a part-time worker, um, it's been my life, and I've always loved it. So how long have you been doing it? Okay, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, 40 years? <laughs> that, was a, that was a good stink eye you gave me when I asked that question. So how far, in, you're doing hair extensions, how far in are you right now? Oh, yeah. Halfway. What have you done so far and what's left to be done? Um, I've done the bottom layer of her hair. Now I start spacing them a little as we get further up, only going up to about the curve of the, of the back of the head. And then I'll start the sides to match and then cut it all to, make, to blend with her hair. Now, should I be getting nervous about this wax I'm about to get, or is it no, a pretty? No, it's a pretty, uh, pretty painless process. I mean, women do it all the time, and we suffer through it. 
I think you can handle it. Yeah, my, my producer says I'm gonna scream. She says uh, men can't take it like women can. So we got I, I got a little challenge on the side. So going you've never with been waxed before then? I've never been waxed before. Oh. <laughs> Jeff, how you feeling? I'm feel, I, I was feeling pretty good. Tracy got me feeling a little nervous. Nah, don't be nervous. I'm very good at what I do. It's not gonna hurt bad. You just listen to my instruction. On the table now. Okay. Lay back. Okay, I'm seeing which way your hair uh, is growing. You see, these are going down. These are all going up. So I have to know which opposite way to pull to get the best wax out of the hair follicle. So is um, waxing like taking off a hundred band-aids at the same time? It's kind of a feel. I have a good. It's on the wrist too of the of the person of the person that's doing it. I have, and I have the right. Okay. Cool. And we use the best wax. We use the sugar wax. Shouldn't be hot. How does it feel? Feels wonderful. Feels so, comfortable. So, so now I'm going to upward motion because all these hairs grow upwards, and we have to do it section by section. See as I'm going. Now, I'm, it seems like I'm going to do this big piece, but I'm not. I go piece by piece. It's all in the wrist and how I pull. Yeah. And then, how's that? Easy breezy. I'm the girl. You are the girl. I'm the girl. I'm the waxer. Not nope, bad. Not bad It's at all, all my technique. There you go. That's a great see? technique. You get nice, clean. You're not that pink. And it doesn't hurt bad because yeah. of powder. Ta! There was no 40-year-old virgin moment with the waxing today. Sorry to disappoint. But I actually thought about letting out a scream of pain because I thought it would be funnier for you guys. That's how much I care. But then I realized, you know, that wouldn't have been fair to Michelle, who did such a great job. And besides, she kind of had like this uh, Leah Romini quality to her, and I did not want to mess with her. Other than that, everyone had a great time with their services today. They really liked them, maybe even more so off camera than on. Maybe the cameras made them a little nervous. But yeah, it was great. As for me, I'm going to go to take my high school chest to the beach. Until next time. <laughs>